Luciano. He started to call my home in Dublin. Hello, I'm Mr. Pavarotti. You have Luciano Pavarotti, the greatest singer on earth maybe who ever existed, calling you at home to try and get us to write a song. We called Bono for ages. He became friend of the housekeeper of Bono because she was Italian. Our housekeeper, Teresa, he just got to know her. He'd ring and say, is God at home? The technique was one of humility, which is, of course, a very mischievous trick. He had turned our housekeeper into his consigliere. Because of breakfast, dinner, and tea, she was like, have you got that song done for him? Bono said, I don't have a song. I have no idea. <laughs> and Luciano said, God will inspire you. I remember there's Easter coming up, and he said, ah, God will sing him something. And I woke up with the melody. I mean, it really did happen like that. My father put a love of opera in me for sure. So I just imagined it was my father Bob singing in the shower. And then Edge came in, his father being a tenor also, and he said, yeah, but he'll want a higher note to hit. After we wrote the song and recorded the song, we thought it would be the end of, the, of the, this, the oldest to give him the song. Oh, no, just the start. He then started to petition our housekeeper, Teresa, we need them modern and now have to play the song. And I explained we definitely couldn't play modern and the band couldn't do it. We're in the studio at the moment. And before I could say no, he said, well, look, I'm on my way to the studio. And I said, no, we're in Dublin. He says, I am in Dublin. <laughs> So there's a knock at the door. He arrives with a fucking camera crew to say, now you can tell the people that you're coming. How could you say no to that? You couldn't. He knew that. Welcome to Dublin. Thank you. And this is Brian. Hello, Brian. Hi, we met. Ciao. <laughs> we met already. Is it true that uh, this song of Sarajevo? Uh, it's true that uh, the maestro here has been haunting me and uh, <laughs> he has like a spirit uh, been in this building uh, long before he arrived here in person and uh, we made a piece called Miss Sarajevo we hope to we will perform this song in, in Modena on what is the date? The 12th of September Luciano is one of the great emotional arm wrestlers. And he would break your fucking arm. <laughs> and so we ended up in Modena, of course. The gun machine, the word, the sound of all the night long. To see hang people. You saw that? Oh, yes. I don't want to say every day, but almost. It was quite something for a kid.
he was crushed by injustice. And the war deeply offended him. He just had this sense in him that he better use this other currency and try to do something with it. He wanted to go to Bosnia to help the children, to give them a hope for a future, because Luciano was one of those children. We try to make something, a kind of music conservatory, where the kids go there to sing, which is the most important thing. This is for Bosnia. It's for, for the kid of Bosnia.